All right, all right, all right. What is going on, everybody? Needs more drums here. Back with another SnowRunner video. So, as we're getting started here, today this is a little bit different than what I've been usually doing. This is going to be the uh, the Northern Thread Trial, where we just have to find these four drilling parts and deliver them to the unfinished bridge. Now, in this map, there is also a second truck down on the bottom there to the left, so we'll be getting that pretty soon um but yeah i should uh i should start by saying that there are a lot of there are already a lot of videos out about these trials and so this one you know it's not a it, it's just you know kind of my way of how i did it um as you may know i love to use the uh realistic fuel mod um by whoever i don't know i'll, I'll look that up and it's in the description <laughs> um but anyway it's a it's a great mod, so fuel is not really an issue for me in this in this challenge, as opposed to uh, a lot of other people that do this, where like fuel is obviously something that you have to consider. Um, for me, I just like to play the game, so uh, yeah, it's it's just this is more about just finding the cargo, and uh, showing you kind of how I get to some of the cargo that are in some of the trickier spots. But yeah, so as we get started here, I think we're coming up on the first fuel um, little little fuel trailer there by the lighthouse so that's your first fuel source if you need that um obviously right now i i don't um and and so just kind of leave that for later just in case but uh yeah let's uh, continue on here and see what we got going on all right as we're coming into this town that says speed limit 35 miles an hour and uh, clearly we're going so fast coming down this dirt road um here's the uh, second fuel trailer location right by this little garage here so if you need that there it is and uh, let's keep going and see uh, where we got our first cargo here coming up all right so here we are at the first spot um, this was so I've seen a couple people do it where they got kind of up on the snow like in those trees but personally I hate driving through trees so I thought you know what why not try to see if the water is deep enough? And uh, sure enough, it's it's shallow enough to where you can drive through it. The only obstacle is these these big rocks. Um, luckily, this this truck kind of doesn't have an issue with with some of these. I you know, this one here, I get kind of stuck on for a second because I, I didn't go over it fast enough, and so I kind of got my uh, got the frame stuck on the on the rock there. But um, just you know, back it up and do it again, give it a little more speed and power, and we'll we'll, we'll get over we'll get over there. But yeah, here, here I was just like, man. Maybe I could just reach it with the crane from here, because you never know. Sometimes you can just uh, get the get the crane out and you know um, kind of winch it back. But it did not work in this case. So yeah, as I'm struggling with this here, uh, let me just say that this truck is actually kind of a beast. Uh, I, this is the same truck, the International, uh, what is it, the Fleet Star, that you get. Well, it says right at the top there, duh. <laughs> anyway, um, you get this truck really early on in the game and it's like the first truck that you find in the michigan map and you know th in the trial this is like you don't get to pick your truck this is just just what it is but in the game this is actually a really really good early game truck that you can keep with you pretty much well i, I kept it with me through the entire entirety of the uh the michigan region through all the maps and everything and so it, it does pretty well uh, especially once you get the race suspension for it um yeah as you can see this does not work so just kind of let's 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 take it back and uh, yeah, put put the crane back, man. What are you doing? <laughs> this is not not smart here. There we go. Anyway, but yeah, it's it's a it's a great truck. Um, you get it when you find it in the Michigan map. It already has all wheel drive, so it's already pretty much set to go. All you need, you know, when you start unlocking new tires, if you're leveling up, it makes this truck one of the better one of the better ones to help you get through some of those more challenging areas that you encounter in the in the first region. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it it holds its own. I mean. Once you get the, like I said, once you get the race suspension for it, you start getting some better engines. It's, it's a pretty good late game truck as well, uh, it's, at least in the American regions, like maybe Alaska and uh, some of the other American TLCs that I haven't played yet, um, but I'm sure it'll, it'll do just fine. If you take it to, to the Russian map, it's probably not the best because some of that, I just even with the race suspension, it's just kind of not high enough for some of those areas. I, I think I tried to drive it around there a little bit uh, in, in the first region, um, when I didn't have, like, any other, any of the, uh, other European trucks unlocked yet, but, 
yeah, it's, it, it did okay, but overall, you know, it's, it's just it, in those deeper areas, it just kind of kind of struggled. But all right, so we've uh, retrieved the first cargo here. Not the best way, but you know, we we, we got it nonetheless. Um, let's see how this load this up here, pack it up, and uh, we will try to get over this rock without flipping over. Got to do a nifty little, um, I don't even know, eight point turn here or something, I think. Because <laughs> I thought I could get over that one, but then nope. So we'll uh, we'll just kind of go back and forth here and eventually get over this rack. But yeah, that's another tip when you're in areas like this. Just low gear is your friend especially what what makes this truck nice in this in this trial um and any truck you know in, in this game for that matter when you get it with the off-road gearbox and you can stick it into low gear or um low low and get over those rocks you, you if you try to come at it with too much too much speed too quickly you can kind of start bouncing around and that's how you get the truck unstable but if, if you use it on some of those lower gears it helps you keep that stability so you can kind of just slowly crawl over the rocks rather than just like smashing into them head on uh, and, th and that really helps uh, now, now this part don't I, I wasn't able to get across this water I mean I probably could have done it but I was just getting a little it was just kind of taking me a little long and I was my truck kind of started drifting down down river so for this part um, I just decided to uh, not really try that with, with the cargo on and, and just kind of go back the other way and take the long way around which Obviously, like, if you're concerned about fuel, um, this whole endeavor here, trying to get this first cargo, just wasted so much gas, especially in the base game, like, with the way that the, the rate that the engines consume fuel is it, just ridiculous. So, yeah, unless you're using the fuel mod, probably wouldn't, this is definitely not the, the best way to get this cargo. But, like I said, in terms of accessibility, uh, you could you can't reach it from those rocks as long as you, um, you can kind of take note of, of where it positioned the truck. And if, if you just go straight there from the start rather than doing what I did and trying to mess around trying to find a spot for like five minutes and you should be able to get that pretty easily um so yeah just winching ourselves out here because i got stuck and uh then we will keep going to the next spot all right coming up close to the second cargo here uh, just so you know you can cross on the ice here uh this is the, the, the pretty much the only way to get there so you'll see it on the mini map there's a little kind of ice crossing by like the, the, just the little garage and a little town is to the right of me where I found that first trailer. Um, so yeah, you, you, you can cross over on the ice there. Uh, only thing is be careful of this little slope right here. Um, it does look a little bit steep if you kind of get your truck, you know, kind of like um, perched on the side a little bit. So j j just be careful. Don't be, uh, don't be stupid and try to, you know, drive on that very steep part that is just the r to the right of me just you know going going sideways on it like you can see I'm kind of slipping down there a little bit just got to be careful but yeah, all this ice is, is, is good to go you're not going to fall through or anything so this is pretty easy to uh, to get the uh, get the second spot once you get over on this ice here so we will pick this up in just a second and keep going back to the uh, to the to the first drop-off point it also doesn't matter what order you do it in but either way absolutely no problem reaching this one here one of the easier ones to get in my opinion
good little turnaround spot here, right on the uh, this little uh, peninsula of ice. And we are off to the bridge. All right, so here we go, just about to unload our first round of cargo. Yeah, obviously not the, uh, not the, maybe the quickest route, but kind of sloppy. But you know what? Who cares? We got what we needed to get, and now we can go on to the, uh, to the second half of the map here. All right, coming up to this next little water crossing here. Um, this one, just you can kind of see that there are some rocks under the water here. So just if you stand, stand those, you should have no problem getting across. And you can also winch to these uh, to these little pillars in the water here if you need to. As I do in a minute, because I kind of start getting pulled away by the current. And I uh, didn't want to end up waterlogging my engine. Yeah, it's a little, little sketchy right there. <laughs> Got to be careful. But no worries. The winch saves me yet again. Yeah, steering is not our friend when we're uh, driving on some icy rocks, that's for sure. <laughs> so, finally made it up here. Um, and now, I thought that, first I, I thought that I would maybe be able to reach this cargo by going left here and going up, kind of like if there's a pathway on these rocks to just kind of go underneath the bridge and, and pick it up that way. But it turns out that I didn't think I was going to be able to fit my truck through this little, uh, this little opening in the rocks here. Maybe, maybe I could, but... Once I got up there, it's just looking pretty nasty. And I don't think I can, I can. It doesn't look like a good flat surface to drive on. So I said, you know what? Now nah, we're not going to go this way. Um, I thought I'll just come back to it on the other side when I when I go get it later. And here is the location of another fuel trailer. Uh, it you would think that it might have some more fuel, but again. With the, the same with the smaller ones, it's only got 10 liters. So if you're doing this without any kind of fuel mod, uh, obviously this is this is one that you'll you'll want to grab along the way. Um, maybe now, maybe later, but nonetheless, it is here if you need it. And this part's just fun. It's a pretty uh, pretty steep hill. Um, <laughs> one one little little thing to take note of whenever you're driving down super steep hills, just be careful. Don't go too fast. You know, I mean, we're just kind of sliding down like a little slip inside right here going down this one. So uh, be, be careful, otherwise you'll uh, be, you know, going down, you lose steering, and it'll be crashing into things. All right, so coming up here, we found the uh, the second truck in the map. This international, this is the Paystar, I believe. And um, pretty uh, pretty good truck. Looks like it's got a little bit, you know, got a little bit better suspension on it, like a little bit higher suspension. Um, maybe some better tires. So we'll uh, jump in and see what we got going on here and as you can see like with the with the fuel consumption mod that I have this it's totally just just different you know the um, the capacity is a lot lower but also so is the uh, so is the actual consumption from the engine so the tank of gas goes a long way in this in this truck despite its small capacity but either way here here's another fuel trailer sitting right there so I thought I'd fill this up and then we'll uh, get going here. So this crossing is obviously pretty, pretty straightforward, not too deep, especially with this truck. It goes over it pretty easy here. Nothing to worry about. All the water crossings in this game are not are not bad. They're all very, very doable, except for that that big one that I had earlier in the video. 
Um, but I'm sure I could have figured my way through that if I if I had the patience. But I just didn't really feel like it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, th this this spot is actually where we're gonna come back later and grab the third cargo. But here, I don't know why I, I kind of gave up. I just figured this this truck didn't really have the best gear, so we'll, we'll we'll come back later for that. And then I thought maybe man, maybe I can get it from this side, uh, but this does not work I would not recommend doing this um, just in case you know you thought of if you were the same idea I did and said ah, nah, I don't want to drive through all that snow but uh, yeah this this doesn't really work either um, I figured if I wanted to get that I'd have to go I'm just a little bit too far even with the crane fully extended I, I am not able to reach it so didn't really want to drive in the water and risk and I don't know how deep those you know those rocks like look like you might be able to drive on them, but it could drop off pretty steep there in the rivers, going pretty uh, pretty strong. So definitely not something that I that I wanted to try to do. Um, so yeah, this this one is kind of unsuccessful here. So after giving up on those first few tries, I just said forget it we're gonna go to this last cargo over here and uh, this one shouldn't be too bad to get and I was right it's really not that bad you just drive on the ice here um, you can get on these rocks and reach it pretty easily from here with the crane so we'll load this up pack it up and then get that last one later All right, so we are back in the earlier part here, trying to get this get this uh, third cargo that I was getting earlier, um, going through the super deep snow. And I thought maybe this truck would be a little bit better since it has the uh, the better uh, better transmission. Maybe I can use that that low low gear to try to get through the snow a little bit better without slipping. So when you go through those muddier areas and everything, it helps to. Uh, to use those lower gears because then you avoid wheel spin and then instead of spinning out it's just spinning your tires and digging yourself a deeper hole just like you know in real life i mean i know it's a game but the, the theory is essentially the same you know if you're stuck in some some deep mud or deep snow uh, you don't want to be just revving the crap out of your engine and just spinning your tires because then you're not going to get any traction and you just end up digging yourself deeper into whatever you're stuck in so it actually does work um li limiting the throttle and the amount of wheel spin you could actually gain a little bit more traction and then you know even though you'll move pretty slow at least it'll be a steady pace compared to just sitting there spinning your tires in a higher gear um so just sticking it to the low gear here and kind of using these trees to winch myself up this hill and we finally get up to these rocks and so i was kind of getting stuck on some of these bigger rocks here so i decided to do something a little bit nifty and use the uh try to use the crane to push some of these bigger rocks out of the way so I can give myself a little path. Not saying that you need to do this. Um, you could probably just go straight and just drive off of this super big rock here and be fine to reach the cargo. But I said, you know what, what the heck? Let's see. Let's see how this works. And it actually does. <laughs> I can able, I'm able to just push these right out of the way here, like so. Make myself a little path here. And look at that. 
now we can drive kind of right through there and get up on that on that rack rather than trying to uh, drive on this on this big one in front of us and risk maybe you know falling or rolling over or kind of going off the side here so yeah not too bad if I say so myself something that you can keep in mind um, using the crane to uh, kind of manipulate your surroundings and stuff is actually a uh, not, not not a bad idea in, in some of the some of the maps I've done that more than a few times in uh, some challenging areas. this is going to put us in a good spot to finally reach this cargo here I made sure to put my handbrake on back there because I do not want to just roll right into the water that would be very bad um, but no worries we are good to go and you can easily reach it from here so yeah this is definitely the best spot to get this one you're going to have to go through that through that deep snow but uh, it's not as bad as it looks um, and I'm sure you could probably do it with the other truck too just use those trees as their winch points and just you know Keep it in low and, and, and take it slow, so no worries there. This is one of those times where we do need a little bit of a, a speed and power going back here over these rocks. Um, just got to, you know, get over some of these. And sometimes, you know, even, even though I was a little bit worried about rolling the truck, I figured, you know, there's, I was really not going to get out any other way. And uh, sure enough, we actually, well, surprisingly enough, we actually uh, are good to go. And I don't end up rolling the truck, but it's kind of driving over some of these rocks pretty quick here. All oh, right, and this is where I left the uh, the other truck with that last cargo that we got. I figured I would just kind of do a little transfer here, and then try to take that uh, take the paystar up to the final to the final spot. You know, that way I would have done it kind of half to half with each truck. Um, so just a quick little little load transfer here, and then we will get on our way. And we are off here in the uh, last leg of the journey. Uh, hopefully we don't end up like this poor guy over here in the ditch. So, yeah, don't want to be doing that. <laughs> All right, now making it up this hill is a struggle. Uh, the, using the trees is very very important um kind of trying to watch myself up here uh but just so you know make sure that you leave the handbrake on or and that you winch you, you don't release the winch or else this will happen to you and it's not fun <laughs> trying to scramble to try to find a spot because then i guess what i gotta go all the way back up again so before you let go before you let go of the winch 
make sure that you could actually just click from tree to tree rather than have, having to release and reattach. So yeah, let's do that. Don't don't just let it go. Even with the handbrake on, it still slide down that hill pretty easily. But finally, I was able to get to this this uh, this telephone line here, and this does the trick. Able to pull ourselves up, finally get some traction. There we go, right there, and we can deliver the last load. So that's it. That's just kind of the way that I did the challenge. So uh, again, maybe not everybody will agree, but this is just a fun way to do it. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you found this helpful or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!